In this video, we'll talk about finding empirical and molecular formula, and we'll solve the problem about this. Let's read the question first. A hydrocarbon was found to contain 0.36 grams of carbon and 0.09 grams of hydrogen. A determine the empirical formula. So, as you remember, the empirical formula was giving us the ratio between the components. Ratio, so, since we have a hydrocarbon in here, ratio between the carbon and hydrogen atoms. And in order to find the ratio between those, what you need to do is to find the mole numbers of both elements. You remember the formula, mole number of carbon is equal to mass over molar mass. So, mass is given to be 0 0.36, molar mass is 12, and you divide it's 0 0.03 mole. And mole number of hydrogen is, again the same formula, 0 0.09 grams divided by 1 grams per mole, it's going to be 0 0.09 so from here actually you can see that the ratio between the mole number of carbon atom and mole number of hydrogen atom is 1 to 3. This is 3 times bigger than this one. So the formula of my compound is going to be, attention please one more time, the proportion is 1 to 3. So it's going to be CH3. In the second part of the question, we are given that the molecular mass of the compound is 30. And it's asking us to find the molecular formula. As you remember, there was a relationship between the empirical formula and molecular formula. Molecular formula was some multiply of the empirical formula. So, uh, in my question, in the previous part, we have found that the empirical formula was CH3. Let me write it in here. CH3. If you calculate the... If you calculate the mass which corresponds to this empirical formula, you can easily find it as 12 plus 3 times molecular mass of hydrogen is, atomic mass of hydrogen is 1, so it is going to be 15. So we can say that the mass which corresponds to this empirical formula is 15. So we can say that 15 times n will be equal to the mass which corresponds to this molecular formula, which is given to be 30. So 15n is equal to 30, so n is equal to 2. From here we can say that the molecular formula is 2 times bigger than the empirical formula, which was CH3. So we can say that the molecular formula is C2. Goodbye. See you in the next video.